this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here once again in the utterly gorgeous game of East Shade. So, this is a very cool game. It's very relaxing, except for we can freeze to death. So, that's the only scary part that I found so far. And we don't really die, we just kind of get teleported back to our hotel room. So, we are on a quest to find the city, and I'm not sure if we're going the right way, because we have come to a fork in the road. We can go this way, or this way. And this sign is closer, so let's read it. East Shadian Black Thistle. Do not pick, pluck, or pull. Well, we'll go this way for now. And we can't pick the Black Thistle. Which is a shame, because I love picking flowers. Oh, we're going the right way. There's the sign. Lindell is where we came from. Isn't this gorgeous? And Nava, which is, which is where we're going, is this way. So let me check the time. It's still morning, so we're good. We need to be inside somewhere warm by around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I don't know. I can't remember. There's a bear. There's the signs. Hello. Hi, dude. I'm pretty busy if you couldn't tell. I've got all these trails to maintain, tourists to wrangle, animals to nurture, plants to relocate. I'll be lucky if I ever get to take another break in my whole life. Hey, the bear is a park ranger named Victor. Sounds like a tough job. Yeah, it is. At least someone understands what goes into making a national park. Ugh, I'm just really stressed today. I get it. Oh, and I've also got to go rescue a stupid water fox. As if I didn't already have enough work to do. Oh, wow. Um, what is a water fox? They're aquatic rodents, essentially. Like to live in watery caves. People think they're adorable, but in my opinion, they're just wretched. My responsibility here is maintaining the trails. That's why I was hired. These water foxes are a huge thorn in my paw, and they distract me from my real tasks. I love my partner animals. was the one who took care of the water foxes. Now he's gone, and I have no idea to handle these animals. I've been trying to trap one all day. I tried every type of bait into the moon. They like eggs. I read a book. I read a book last night, and they like eggs. Where did your partner go? He wanted to see the world. I don't blame him for that. But he could have at least left some instructions for taking care of these hard animals. They're the butterflies. Um, why do you need to trap one? One of them mangled his foot, and I was trying to administer some salve before it gets infected. What will you do? I've already wasted so much time trying to catch him. I really can't spend another day on this. I think it's officially a lost cause. Can I help? What will happen to the water fox? Uh, what poor what, what will happen to the water yeah, fox? He'll probably die. No! And his kits won't last long without him either. Oh! I guess it's sad, but the trails need maintenance. No, I want to help with the water fox. Can I go see them? I'm not really supposed to let visitors get so close to the wildlife, but I guess it doesn't matter at this point. The water foxes are living in a cave, not more than a hundred paces from me. Is the cave not more than a hundred paces? I think this just goes to his house, but this kind of looks like it could be a cavey area, right? Water fox. Wouldn't the water fox be in water? Yeah, they're an aquatic animal. We're going the wrong way. We're totally going the wrong way. Kestrel's Airy. Well, we might as well check it out. This is really nice. Hi. Welcome to the Kestrel's Airy, providing a warm bed for travelers and tourists for just two glowstones a night. 
Are you in need of a room tonight? No. Pick a topic. Never. It's a shiny kind of place. You heading there now? Yeah, I was, but now I'm looking for a water fox. I heard there's an art supplies store. Seems like something you might like. I, I would. Lindo! You might have met my old friend Nika. She runs the inn over there. We used to get into a lot of trouble together. Oh yeah, she's a nice lady. Hi, kitty. So this is really nice. Stealing everybody's candles and just walking around stealing stuff. Fish of the Fellstream River. The scales of the ultramarine minnow were once ground down to create a deep blue pigment used in paint. These fish consume nearly anything aside from fish and have been found to eat plants and even eggs. The modu trout, or thunder trout, leaps from the water at high speeds before crashing back down. It is believed that the fish do this to catch flies, but it's been surmised that they may also be engaging in play. When entire hovers of thunder trout do this at once, it creates a rumble that can be felt from the land. Thunder trout play, prey on ultramarine minnows and prefer to live in river waters. The dry mouth sandfish swallows vast quantities of silt allowing it to rest heavily on the riverbed. Preying on thunder trout, the sandfish emits a burst of sand as prey approaches, disorienting the smaller fish and consuming it along with the displaced sand. One sandfish has gained particular notoriety in East Shade for being a menace to fisherfolk and boaters. This fish is known to locals as Old Fox and has been observed wreaking, wreaking havoc, havoc sorry, in the Sinkwood Lake. Huh. This is so lovely. You have a beautiful inn. Okay, this game is absolutely endless. Got a mushroom. Okay, we have to go the other way because we're more than 100 paces now. I got confused because he's in the foxes in a cave, and this looks like a cavey place, but no. The foxes are water foxes, so they have to be down by the water. And they have to be close to this bear. Did I just pick a flower that I'm not supposed to pick? Great shade. How am I going to find these foxes? Fox. Like, if I were a water fox, I'd be in a cave by the water here. Oh god, is it getting dark already? No, it's not. There's a house in that tree! Oh my god, you guys. Why is- it's getting dark! Why is it getting dark? It's the eclipse. Let's go see if they know where the foxes are. No? No? Hello? No? Okay. There's a waterfall coming out of this tree. This is delightful.
we're just walking through the river. Can I go under the bridge? to die. Oh, that must be the city right there. But that's more than a hundred paces. There's a cave right here. Oh, it's a cave with water. Water fox den. Finally. Okay. Let's save the game. And I have a sip of tea. Okay, I set some kind of bait. Do we have any eggs? Where can I get eggs? Hey. Well, we set some kind of bait. Let's go to town and see if we can find some eggs. Because I read the book that says they really love eggs. Okay, so the fox really is 100 paces away from the bear. Here's the bear. And the foxes are like right behind them. Good day for making trails, wouldn't you say? What do water foxes like to I've eat? I've always pictured them as toad eaters. Never really watched them eating, though. If I knew what they like, I would have trapped that injured one by now. Okay, they like eggs. They live in watery caves and crevices, usually secluded areas. Okay. Aren't you full of questions? Go to the library if you want to miss it to know it all. Alright. Grumpy, grumpy bear. So, I do know they like eggs, because of that book we read. I want to run, but I also don't want to run in case we find eggs. so cool you guys look we're coming to the city oh my god look at that wow just wow 
so incredible. Need a lift? No. All right then. It's nice to know we can get a lift back. Hi, dude. Ah, yeah, a newcomer. Oh, do May this. I see your reference letters, please? What? References? I'm afraid if you're seeking passage into Narva, you'll need three reference letters from citizens of Eastshire. Are you Signed serious? How do I get references? Well, you need to find people who are willing to vouch for your character and writing. Since you're a newcomer, you'll have to make some friends in the country. Will that be all, then? Why do I need references? It hasn't always been this way, but lately we've been getting more newcomers than usual. We don't want to be unwelcoming to new folk, but we are trying to have some measure of security. Will that be all, then? Will that be all, then? <laughs> yeah. Stay safe now. Hey, that's my line. I always tell people to stay safe. Can I talk to these ones? No, not you, but how about you? It comes. What comes? It may be the fiercest East Shade has seen in a hundred years. The signs are all around us. What signs? You must find shelter. What is it? Death. It is death. I must go. Be safe, traveler. Ignore him. He says that every time it rains. Stop scaring the tourists, Grandpa. Oh. Where are they going? They're just gonna kinda hang out over here? Can I talk to you again? It comes! Okay. I don't remember which way we came. Oh, eggs! We found eggs! Come inside and get out of the rain. Dear Victor, how I have missed you. Only three months into my journey, and a large part of me wonders if it was an utter folly. I can't help but think of all the work you're doing in the shade without my help. Your dedication to the park is what inspired me to set out in search of my dearest passion. But what I found is that the world feels smaller without you by my side. For all the endless islands and new cities, I still find myself wishing to spend an evening by the fire with you. And so, I have decided to return early. I had planned to surprise you, but couldn't wait. The world is beautiful, but even still, the vision of you is the one I cherish most. With love, Nils. P.S. I look forward to hearing about the birth of the Water Fox Kits. They'll be nearly full grown by the time I return. Okay. So this must be Mr. Bear's house, Victor the Bear. Building a campfire. A campfire is a handy tool for those wishing to brave the cold nights of East Shade. Build one to cozy up to your campfire, your campsite, and brew a nice cup of tea. In this issue of the Adventure Lifestyle Magazine, we'll teach you how to light a fire of your own. Simply follow the schematic included here 
to light a roaring fire, sure to keep your evenings comfortable. Strap on your boots, adventurers, because the first step is collecting. Feather adventurer Listil shares the tale of his first time building a fire. Well, I'll never go back to sitting in the cold dark again. I ended up smelling like smoke, which wasn't my favorite thing, but you can't have a good camping experience without a toasty fire. So that's nice. Look at the little wood stove over here. that. I don't want to build it right now. Should we go back out or not? Isn't this the giant tree? No, it's a different... Yeah, that is! There's a beautiful owl! was a crazy storm. Okay, there's Mr. Bear. These trails aren't going to take care of themselves. Okay, all right. You're grumpy, grumpy bear. We've got eggs, though. We can catch the fox. There he goes, he's taking the bait. Awesome. Got you, Mr. Fox. I you got managed him. to trap him. I heard the shrieks all the way above ground. I need to administer the sound. 
You scared the heck out of me. Well, I guess I should thank you. I was ready to give up on this damned water fox. Listen, it's pretty clear that you're a nature lover. I don't know how you managed to catch that animal, but I do appreciate it. Likes eggs. Let me show you how to make a snug tent. Should be useful for someone like you, roaming the country and all. It will give you a place to relax if you need to kill time and shelter if you find night sneaking up on you. Oh my god, that'd be awesome! Thank you, Mr. Bear! We've got a tent schematic. We need one more stick and several more twine. Okay, we have enough twine. Now we just need another stick. And we need to get back to our hotel before it gets too dark. Or if I have any coins, we could stay at that hotel we passed along the way. Bye, Mr. Bear. Okay, we're not supposed to be picking those, and I've been picking them. There's another stick. We can make a tent. Now, if we make a tent, do we have to leave it on the ground and then make a new one the next time, or can we pick it up again and take it with us? That's, I'm not sure. This is so lovely. You think we can make it back? Yeah, I think we can. We're not going to stop and talk to these people right now. Okay, we're gonna make it, I think. We made it. Ah, the traveling artist. money to buy your other stuff again? No. I can buy a tea, but I can't buy the mead. But the mead did not keep us warm. Let's just buy another tea. anyone we could talk to in here? Yes. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Mm. Yes, you did. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. <laughs> Say, you do some sort of odd things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. All right. I think I can paint over one of my already, my uh, paintings that I have. I can paint over this. Or this was a mistake. I painted this by mistake. That looks good. He's 
by the fire. He's got books behind him. Oh my! That painting! It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen! I simply must have it! This is wonderful! <laughs> My friends will be so jealous of me! I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. He wants a bunch of paintings of himself. Did you give me anything for it? Can you imagine? An entire wall filled with paintings of me. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Okay, so we have 25 glowstones now. We can talk to this guy. Hi. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much though. I'm just glad you all made it. Thanks, Taruk. I was very lucky. I work on the docks almost every day. If you ever have any questions about Lindau, come on over and I'll do my best to help. Thanks. Um, how about the abandoned tower? I remember playing in there as a kid. The ocean looks beautiful from the top. I wish it wasn't locked up. Lindau? Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore, aside from bloom sacks. And most of our tourism these days are just people passing through, on the way in or on the way out of Nava. Architect of Can Linda? you believe he came up with the plan for this city by himself? I'd love to meet him. I like this guy. Old Lindau. So that was the original Lindau. The town got destroyed after it rained every day for a solid month. The hill just slid away. There might be some stuff worth salvaging out there. Yeah, I think you told me that already. Okay, thank you. See you. Hello? No. Hello? You stole another candle? So cool. Okay, let's go up to bed. This is the painting we painted. She put our painting on the wall. Oh my god, and she framed it. How cool is that? This is the painting we painted for... I can't remember her name. I want to say Ricky, Nikki. Oh my gosh. So cool. Guys, I think we're going to stop here because I just looked at the time. I have been playing for 33 minutes. And I've been trying to keep these down to 20 minutes or 25 minutes and I'm just not doing it because I'm having so much fun. And I hope you are too. And if you are, please hit that like button and subscribe. Leave your comments. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. All right, guys. And most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.